Hello, everyone. At this hour, chaos in the Capitol and nothing but questions about really what is going to happen next. Chief among them, when will Congress have a new Speaker of the House? Plus, DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition in a hospital. We're going to talk to his high school football coach about it all. And a monster storm is hammering California right now with heavy rain. San Francisco's mayor joins us live as they prepare and are handling what they're going to do about this latest deluge. This is what we're watching at this hour. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I'm Kate Baldwin. 24 hours later, we still have no Speaker of the House and no clearer view of when that is going to be decided. Very soon, the House is supposed to and set to reconvene to try to elect its next Speaker. Kevin McCarthy insists that he will not be dropping out of the race, insists that he can get to 218. That is despite failing to secure enough support in three separate votes that all played out in dramatic fashion yesterday. It is the first time in a century that the House House has did not elect a speaker on the first round of voting. At the heart of this mess is a small group of conservatives, about 10% of the Republican conference, all of whom want more power, all of whom are taking advantage of the Republican Party's slim majority to, to try and grab it. That is the essence of it all. But it's really messy from here on out. Let's start on the Hill. Lauren Fox is standing by for us. So, Lauren, phone calls, sleepless nights, lots of backroom and basement discussions. What's happening right now? Well, there aren't many options right now, Kate. Kevin McC